Welcome back, I'm Limdul and we're playing Powder and we're being chased by a cockatrice. Where do we know this, this, this like situation from? Yeah, last level we did the same. Luckily, we can now avoid the cockatrice. Well, we could have done this before as well, but the advantage is now we can actually leap and and cast magic missile so yeah the cockatrice is near death I'll risk a leap attack at it yes ha we can actually kill cockatrices now yay oh something burns the gelatinous cube and this seems to be something dangerous D4 dangerous. Let's see what the <laughs> what the forked wand does. Oh, a wand of teleport. I guess this makes the red the red dragon a non-problem. So, what do we do now? Where do we go from here? We pray to Bellowy or some more. Now nah, we cast magic missile and hit ourselves with it, for good measure. I always thought we don't have enough hitting each other or ourselves in this game. <laughs> the leap attack actually opens some pretty strange gameplay possibilities, as you can see. You can jump back and forth like a madman. Yeah. But will the gelatinous cube ever die? This is the question here. It was hit by two fireballs before, I think. So, wow! Wait a minute, was this... It had so many different items. I wonder if... If this was a special cube and I didn't realize that it was one. Ah, we won't find out now. So, no scrolls and so many rings. One of this, these potions, those potions actually, might be a potion of poison. Oh, the minus one. The minus one short sword. I don't need it. Nothing happens. Oh, I'm too full. Ghasts. Oh god, do I hate ghasts. But now we have a much larger chance of actually defeating the ghast with with our equipment, our leap attack and our sticky flames and whatnot. Yeah. Burn ghast. Yeah. Yeah. This was Oh we got an artifact weapon. Rejoice. This, but daggers are actually tiny weapons, aren't there? They, they are not small weapons. So, no, these are small weapons. We have melee skills with them. Hmm, might be worth to check it out. Nah, I'm content with my fire sword. It's so lead. The deck, it's it's. It's possible that the dagger gives me something like the fire sword or the flaming sword. The same abilities. As you have as you have noticed, the monsters kind of changed from not so dangerous to very dangerous indeed. You charge. Oh, this is nice. Actually, charge works with leap attacks. I don't think I, I, I have known about this. You missed the scorpion. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is the not funny variety of, of spiders. If there's a funny variety at all. I don't fear spiders in real life, but in this game, I do. 
Yeah, Klaskov, now you help me. I wonder if giant spiders are... are hostile? I don't know. Tributes sure are. I don't know, what, I, what whatever did I do to Tributes that they hate me so much? There's a special level with a Tribute boss that might be generated for you, but this is not guaranteed. You will know soon enough if if this happens. Purple potion. What? What the hell? Oh, this is probably an invisible stalker. Let's kill it with. Yeah, this is an invisible stalker for sure. I would much prefer if I would much prefer if the slug didn't follow follow me around. I will just leap like a madman. I think I killed the invisible stalker, didn't I? I should really watch the te on screen text more. Oh god, with the leap skill, the fights have like become doubly boring. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't kill the invisible stalker. Yeah, this was an invisible stalker. And if I eat his corpse, I will become invisible. Some monsters will still see me, others won't. Uh, and the purple potion. Wasn't this a potion of insight? I'll check it out. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yes, this was a potion of insight. Hmm, let's look at this. This artifact genera uh, grants regeneration, melee 2d3 plus 3. Oh, very nice. Death, good, good. Small, I am proficient with the weapon, it grants me regeneration. It does pretty amazing melee damage and death at that not many monsters are resistant to this i'll be using this dagger i'm also proficient with this weapon this will be another upside a downside might be that oh, that i have a reduced light radius now zombies are actually i'm immune to death magic aren't they yeah they are <laughs> weapon switching is tiresome oh gold beetle i don't know have we encountered one or haven't we i don't know gold beetles make you allergic to gold this is a very much feared enemy believe it or not I drained the gold beetle. I drained the gold beetle and I drained it some more. Don't eat gold beetle corpses, they will make you, well, like I said, permanently vulnerable to gold. And that, that would mean that you can't. Oh, yeah, giant spiders aren't actually um, hostile. You can't wear any gold, golden rings then. And I got two golden rings. So. I don't want to do this. Bellweir. Bellweir doesn't like me anymore. I should burn some more monsters. Because I actually want to learn Fireball. And I want to have more spell points. Yeah, he likes me now. Mm. Oh god. I bet one of those rings I have... No, there aren't actually, actually rings of poison resistance, so... There are amulets of poison resistance. Why is he in good shape? Tell me why this is like that. He should be dead by now. Ah oh god, I simply kill him. Oh no! Holy crap, this is actually a, a special 
special scorpion. Okay, I have to sign off now. Let's see how it goes from here.